Hi again. I am back in the Make Your Mark soft cover book. I'm back next to the that foot race selection that I read to you for yesterday. This is right before it on page four in the middle of the book. And this is an old folk tale or a folk tale, I guess. I don't know how old this one is called Paca and the Beetle. It is a folk tale from Brazil. Brazil is a large country in South America. And folk tales are interesting stories because they are usually designed or written to teach a lesson. And often folk tales have animals that are maybe talking to each other. So it's a bit of a fantasy involved meant to teach us a lesson. So let's check out Paca and the Beetle. A beautiful red, blue, gold, and green macaw watched a brown beetle as it crawled across the jungle floor. Where are you going, my friend? Macaw called out. I am going to the sea. Just then, a paca skittered by. You? Paca laughed. You're so slow, it will take you a hundred years. Macaw looked down. You shouldn't brag, Paca. Why, why don't you race him? I'll give a new coat to whoever reaches, first reaches the big tree beside the river. Paca laughed harder. This is no race, he giggled. You may as well give me the yellow coat and black spots of a jaguar right now. Now, first of all, I need to show you this picture. This is a macaw. And this is a paca. All right, so it's a rodent from South America. Good, getting back to the story now. I will race, Beetle said. If I win, I would like a coat like yours, Macaw. Paca dashed away. Then he thought, why should I hurry? I am so much faster than slow Beetle. I can take my time. He smiled, thinking of the fine new coat he would soon wear. When Paca neared the tree, however, he was amazed to see a beetle on a branch waiting for him. And the caption next to the macaw says, Scarlet macaws are found throughout South America. These spectacular birds are about three feet long from head to tail. Now remember our yardstick, three feet, 36 inches. That's a big bird, beautiful bird. All right, I think this might be our beetle, maybe? Let's keep reading the story, and then we'll see. Paca gasped. How did you get here, he demanded. I flew, Beetle answered with a smile. You have wings, Paca asked. Macaw answered. Beetle doesn't brag about his wings, but he can use them when he needs to. Beetle is the winner. Paca hung his head and slunk away, still wearing the brown coat with white spots he had always had. Then Macaw smiled at Beetle, and Beetle's hard back began to shine with the colors of Macaw's feathers. The Beetle's shell has gleamed with a rainbow of colors ever since. Look at that beautiful shell. Isn't that something? And now let's read the caption there. Ah, uh, the Ciba borer, or living jewel of Brazil, is one of the world's most beautiful insects. People use the wing covers of its shell in jewelry. So that must be the beetle that this story was using um, as a character. Maybe kind of telling how it got its beautiful coat. Here are some questions to discuss for this selection. What is the moral or lesson in this story? Which story details explain this lesson? And then compare and contrast Paca and the beetle and the raven and Inuit myth in unit five. I'd have to go back and look for that one for us. How are the characters, setting and plots alike and different? You know, as I was reading this to you this morning, I was thinking of a folk tale that's very common in the United States. I wonder if you thought of it too. Can you think of a folk tale 
um, that has animals that teaches a lesson similar to this. There's a race involved. I'm not going to give it away today. You uh, message me when you um, reply back after today's lessons and tell me if you know the folk tale that I'm referring to, if you thought of it too. So I hope you enjoyed Paca and the Beetle.